always told him, I was like, if you ever want to add a third in, eh, sure, fine. We'll bring back. He'll, like, try to get me, he'll, like, say things that, like, try to get me jealous about it. And I was like, you know this isn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, because really. How the hell could anybody make you jealous? I was like, this is really not going to work. Yeah. Yeah, I just turned 28. Let's see, I'm currently in a monogamous, straight relationship, living with a boyfriend. Uh, we are celebrating our one year next weekend. He's wonderful. So I've had about three significant long distance relationships. Uh, I dabbled in open relationships um, in the poly world. Um, I'm kind of open to everything, love everything. I'm kind of a free spirit. Love all, do all, just be responsible. I haven't ever dated a girl, just dated a girl. Um, I've dabbled. That's why I consider myself straight with a twist. <laughs> uh, professionally, I work as a therapist in Maryland. I work with couples, I work with families, I work with children, I work with teenagers, I work with everything. Uh, everything from chronically mental ill to um, just looking for self-improvement, that type of thing. Oh god, I was a late bloomer. Um, so I waited until I was 21. <laughs> I was raised very conservative Southern Baptist. <laughs> God. Yeah. Uh, so I held off for a very long time and had been in a monogamous relationship and you know, because of it had a really good experience um, with losing the virginity and having and like I guess entering into the world and, and since then it's kind of just weird. <laughs> so <laughs> I started off my first two years of college at a conservative private Christian Baptist school and then transferred to UMBC and it all went downhill. <laughs> so UMBC ruined your conservative background. <laughs> no, the private school did because they they had some really terrible um, decisions with the school and, and where they were going both politically and religiously and I just could not get on board with it. And so then you went to UMBC? Yes. So I went there and then I went on to the grad school of the University of Maryland. What kind of dance do you do? Uh, actually, Lindy Bell. Um, I've dabbled in the waltz. I've done some tango. I've done um, some of the sauce and the Latin dances. A um, little bit of modern, a little bit of ballet, and pole. Just because it was fun. It's a lot harder than it looks. I need a lot of upper body strength. <laughs> and I mean, it's, it's sexy as hell. Come on. Like, <laughs> let's be honest. People are like, what, do you have a pole in your apartment? Yes. Why, well, yes, I do. Love it. I like to feel sexy, you know, I like to feel like I can make my partner want me, you know, and I think pole dancing can do that. Now, actually, the funny thing is I've actually never performed for him. Um, like, I've shown him moves and things like that, but I've never actually, like, put on anything for him, which I need to change. Clearly, I'm not going to date someone who's like, I'm waiting for marriage. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not in touch with a lot of my exes, and I do that intentionally because I need the space. I think it depends on how the relationship was before we started dating. You know, if the relationship before was that we were good friends, then I would be easy to give, fall back into that. I had always wanted to help teen teenagers. It's always been, like, I love I love the teenagers. Crazy teenage girls are my favorite. And I had some really wonderful professors in college. Like I took an intro to social work class and I was hooked because the professor was wonderful. Them talking about their experiences and what they did and why they did it and I was like that's the passion I have. I just think of myself as, I think of myself as a mirror. Um, I'm not here to give them advice, I'm not here to counsel them, to tell them what to do, but I'm here to reflect what they are doing and it's up to them to make the changes. I mean I remember a very distinct moment when I was 21 and I lost my virginity of I will be with more than one person. And that was very distinct because it was so heavily pushed in, in my raising of, you know, you get married and that's when you have sex. So I remember a very distinct thought of, like, a shift. And so I, I remember that moment. Um, having been with a girl is, would, would surprise my 19-year-old self. Maybe not, because I had a huge crush on one of my high school friends. So maybe not, but I think some of the places that I have been with my sexuality have would surprise my younger self. Love you all. <laughs> Perfect.